what is the easiest commodity to trade today. Is it cocoa out of Ivory Coast? Is it iron ore out of Brazil? Or is it discounted crude oil from Gazprom? In every YouTube live that I host, someone asked me this question. What commodity do you think is the best to trade at the beginning? So in this video, I'm not going to give you the correct answer, which is, it depends. I'm going to give you the 1000 IQ answer, a definite answer of which commodity is the easiest to trade. But first, let's try to understand where this question is coming from. Our first immediate thought would be that people are drawn by get rich scheme. They think commodity trading is the same way. You can chill in front of your TV or your computer and make it work with minimal effort. But you know what? I don't think that you guys send money to OF girls or order fast food on an app on your couch and spend your days playing video games. I'm sure that if you watch this channel, you are right above that. And you are even above the wannabe brokers that try to sell crude oil even though he couldn't even sell a cookie to his family. <laughs> yeah, I should stop the cheap joke uh, <laughs> on brokers. <laughs> I think that people that come up with a question like this have tried to make a couple of deal works but are actually stuck and don't really understand what it takes, the effort that are required to set up their first deal flow with one buyer and one seller. And seriously, what is cool with commodity trading is that with only a handful of buyers, you can have a multi-million dollar business that do a couple million of profit per year quite easily. But you need to have those handful of buyers first. I thought about this question a lot, how to get more buyers? Because I'm currently working on a secret project where I deconstruct everything that I do to attract buyers, everything that I do to attract commodity counterparties. And it's not to throw flowers at myself, but we have a lot of issues uh, in my companies, but finding new clients is not one of those. The bottleneck is never new clients. Never. Our bottlenecks are more a combination of operation and finance, but that's for another video. So to find the easiest commodity to trade, we need to find first the easiest commodity to buy and to sell. No? So let's jump on the computer and I'm going to show you how we go about it to, to find new buyers or new suppliers. So here guys, I'm showing you the secret sauce. So basically we have a team of three scrappers and their job is to basically find the companies that are in this uh, industry that you are looking for. And so basically we are going to scrap information on the trade association website mostly conferences and event this is a gold mine i mean you can see what the sponsor what the person coming to the event there's a lot a lot of information there uh, we use of course data aggregators you can uh, find information on different uh, bl of leading for different countries uh, those are um, not free information actually those data aggregators are quite pricey but um, it gives you a good idea of the trade flow so we scrap the, the data aggregator of course linkedin LinkedIn is now uh, the best place to be if you are in import, export or international trade. There is a lot of scam and a lot of stupid uh, brokers on LinkedIn, but it was it. And sometimes um, we may, no, we don't do that, but we know that some people do. <laughs> they buy a directly list of buyers or list of exporters from the custom of some countries. Again, we don't do it. So uh, basically, we get all those scrap, all those leads, we clean them with different um, software, and then we have our lead database. Then, when you have a list of leads like 250, but I would say a minimum would be 500, you can start to reach out to them systematically. So then there's a reach out second So basically what we try to do first is to uh, go on LinkedIn, we connect with the people, we have a um, design sequence that we uh, send. Then if it doesn't work, we go to email. Then if it doesn't work, we cold call. Well, at this time, it's not really a cold call because when we sent you LinkedIn message, we sent you emails and so on. So <laughs> it's just a call. Once we reach out uh, the guy, what we try to do is to get his WhatsApp number as fast as possible. Um, if you are watching in, uh, I don't know, and you're in China or in the US and you don't use WhatsApp, man, use whatsapp the whole world is using whatsapp so we try to get his whatsapp message and then to um, organize a call 
So if it's me doing that, then I will directly call the guy when he's available. And if this is my team of setters, so we have two setters. So it called setters, basically their job is to do the whole outreach and then set the video call with a calendar link or whatever link. And then what we do here is uh, we send a pre-framing video. It's uh, basically uh, a link to a video on YouTube that is going to pre-frame the conversation that we are going to have. And it's also a good uh, thing to send just to remind the guy that uh, their call is up in 24 hours. But also there is this pre-framing video. Pre-framing is a concept uh, drawn from Robert Cialdini. Now you have the full flow, <laughs> but obviously this is only the first part. Now you have to travel to conferences, see buyers and suppliers in person and so on. You know, all the good stuff that make internet national commodity trading such as intensive and exhilarating uh, job. But don't go and just implement what I've just shown you to attract your buyers. There is one important missing piece. So the missing piece is do -do 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 here we go working on the angle. And if you see here the angle is the thing that I do. It's my responsibility. The angle is going to dictate how easy it's going to be for you to buy or to sell. Let me give you an example. For instance, if you said to your buyer, I'll send you a container of this ingredient to test it. And if you like it, you pay me under 60 days. And if you don't like it, I'll come pick the rest at your factory. No problem. Don't, don't worry. How easy this would be to sell compared to you need to pay me 50% at the signature of the contract within three days, then 50% when the container are at the port. Otherwise, I don't deal with you. Hmm? 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 Let me give you another example. Which scenario is easier to sell? Scenario A, we have the product ready to be shipped at our house. Our house is just uh, in the city nearby. So you can come check the good, test it if you want, and we can deliver it to your factory if you want, or if you want to pick it up, no problem with us. Or scenario B. Yeah, the product is ready to be shipped at the mine. Yeah, of course, the mine is uh, in the middle of uh, the South America. So you can take your plane and come check yourself or you can send an inspection company. And yeah, uh, we need also to find a bank for the letter of credit. Of course, you can take the good at the mine or we can ship it FOB, no problem. You just need to charter the vessel, uh, easy peasy. Which scenario is the easiest to close? Scenario A or scenario B? A, of course. <laughs> it's less risky for your client. It requires less work for them. Of course, it's scenario A. But scenario A also means that you as a trader, you take much of the risk on you. You need to finance the good. There is a trade-off in everything. But now, let me show you how you can manufacture or find a great angle without adding risk on yourself as a trader. For instance, it could be a natural angle. Listen, if you got to say this to your customer, look, our supplier is located near a huge dam. So the cost of energy is only 10% of what the competition is. Therefore, all year long, we can offer extremely competitive prices. Then the client will think, yeah, that, that's right. I mean, it makes sense. Sometimes my two trusted supplier in some moment in the year, they, they are not the, the most competitive. So maybe this guy with this energy things uh, is what you want with your angle is to make your potential lead think that with you, they won't experience the same pain as with their current suppliers. But to craft natural angle like that, strong angle like that, that doesn't require more risk on yourself. You need to have experience and knowledge about the current market condition. You need to know the market. Otherwise, you will just run around in circles, sending prices, sending offers that have no chance to close. So if you have no skill set, no knowledge or no network, no commodity will be easy for you to trade. But this one, the easiest commodity to trade is also the most precious, your time. So if you are a young kid, go find a job and trade your time for skill set, knowledge, network. This trade is a good trade. But if you are a little bit older and want to start your own company, then go find in your network someone that works in a factory. Ask him to introduce you to the guy in charge of the procurement or the boss directly. 
and go to him and say something like this. Hey, I'm just starting my new commodity trading company. I'm not going to lie. I haven't got a client, but I'm sure, I'm sure that I can do something better from you than your current suppliers. So please just be open with me. Let me know what are the payment terms and what are the current quotations that your suppliers are giving you. And I will fight. I will do everything that I can to match them or even even be a little bit better. Can you just give me a shot? I just need one shot for one palette. <laughs> one box, <laughs> please. And if you are charismatic enough, persuasive enough, you should make it, man. <laughs> so that's it for me today. I hope that you like the video and that you learned something. And yeah, let me know in the comment what you think about uh, this video and if you have more questions. Ciao.